Hey Microbit fans, today's project is how to make a dice. We're going to be working through this project in two stages. The first stage, we're going to do a little simple project where we're just going to show the number of a dice on the display. Then we'll move on and we'll show the dice faces on the Microbit display. And let's get rolling. We're going to remove the forever handler. I'm going to use the on start and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a number on the actual display just so we can see it's all working. Let's set that to number one. Then uh, obviously with the dice you, uh, you shake the dice so let's grab this shake event handler. That's where we're going to place um, all of our logic. We're going to uh, create a new variable. Um, let's make it something easy to remember. Uh, let's try uh, dice value. So we're going to use dice value to track the value of the dice. And uh, basically we need a way of setting that. And inside this uh, maths area here, we've got uh, a random number generator, which of course for a dice we want between 1 and 6. So what we've got here now is we're going to set the variable dice value to a random number between 1 and 6. Once we've done that, we're then going to show that number on the display and obviously we're going to use the dice value variable to do that for us. And uh, we're trying it out now in the emulator. If you uh, click on that shake area, then we can see now that the, the number's changed on the display. So that's our first part of the project done. That was quite easy. So here we go, um, let's move on. So our, our aim here is just to actually create the dice faces. So uh, the first thing we're going to look at is to create those faces. And uh, in the image section we've got a create image. I'm just going to duplicate that so we have six in total, one for each face of the dice. And once we've done that, just uh, resize it here just to get it looking better on the screen. And then uh, just going to move these out so we can actually see them all together. Just makes uh, creating the faces a little bit easier. I'm going to work through them now. So obviously this is number one. Let's click in the centre. Uh, number two. And that's three. Over here for four. Five. Obviously, that's the pattern for five. And finally, six. Once we've done those, we're going to create an array. Um, so this one here, set list to array of. Uh, we're going to add to that. So we want six in total, six elements. And then once we've... Uh, Organize six. We can drop these images into this array here. So let's get them lined up correctly. One, two, three, four, and five. Just move that up a bit. Five and six. So that's now, we've now got an array with elements of all the dice faces that, that we want to show. I'm going to create a little function here now. So in here again you know call it something meanable meaningful um set dice patterns there we go so we're going to call this when when we first start this code we need to tell the micro bit what faces of the dice uh, we want to display you know how how are they going to be represented on that display so by calling this function um, we can basically set those patterns all in place. And if I grab that, and we don't need that anymore, so let's uh, drop that in there. So as soon as we start our code, we call set dice patterns. That's this function here. That loads in the patterns of the display. We need another function now. And uh, again, you know, title these meaningful so I've called this one roll dice and essentially what that's going to do is 
basically roll the dice. <laughs> um, so we can reuse some of this code here. What we want to be thinking about though is how that array is stored. How do those elements line up in that array? Um, obviously originally we were showing numbers 1 to 6 but now this array, the elements are numbered from 0 to 5 which gives us our 6 elements in total. So uh, what we need to do is just reorganise this. Again, change these uh, numbers so that they correctly index the elements. And um, I'm going to say, I'm going to ask the element at that random value. And if we grab an image, and here we've got this one here, look at the top, show image, my image at offset. So just pop that down there. And then we grab that and drop that in there. That can go. And that's going to go into our function roll dice. So we're almost there now. Obviously now we need to call that function roll dice. And we're going to pop that. When it starts, so that will show something on the display. But also when you shake it, you know, when you shake the micro bit, we're going to call that function roll dice. We're almost ready for testing now. So just organize these just so we can sort of see them in the best possible manner. And uh, let's think about uh, testing this. And we click run. What we're going to do then is uh, activate this uh, shake handler here by clicking on shake. And we can see that we've now got the uh, pictures of the dice faces shown on the display, which is uh, exactly what we wanted.